Hey everyone, so before we begin with our video, we would like to make a small request. Kindly subscribe to our channel and like the video if it helps you and also share it with your friends who may benefit from the same. So hey guys, in this video we'll be showing how you could uh, simulate a simple AND gate, CMOS AND gate on Simulink. So this is basically for beginners who haven't used um, this part of Simulink before. So first we'll need to take a CMOS AND gate and we'll have to set in the low voltage values and the high value for voltage so low is input is 1 and high input is 3 volts and high output is 5 volts and high input is 0 volts Now to provide this high, we'll take a voltage source. Just make sure that you take the voltage source from the correct library. So to provide the low, we'll need to connect an electrical reference, that is the ground. And we'll also need a solver configuration block for simulating so this will have to be connected to the ground to measure the output voltage we will need a voltage sensor block and when you are working with um, different libraries you will need PS to Simulink or Simulink to PS converter so that you can see the output on a display or a scope So now let's run the circuit, let's run the simulation. So as you can see the output is 0 volts. Now if you remove the electrical reference and because it's an AND gate so both of them have to be high for the output to be high. Now if you run the simulation. So you would still get 0 volts. It's because the input voltage source we're, we're supposed to give a high voltage so which is anything above 1 volt for the chosen parameters so now if you simulate it we would get a high voltage of output of 5 volts so now let's go back and try for the 1 0 input so as you can see the output is again 0 volts so this is an easy way to verify and how to use the logical gates in Simulink. So hopefully the video was useful. I mean it's for beginners and do check out our other videos. Thank you.